Welcome to the second module of the new volunteer orientation. At the completion of this module, please be sure to take time to take the short quiz to let us know that you've taken this training and to help us better reach volunteers in the Wyoming 4-H program. This section will cover positive youth development, philosophies, and tools to use when working with 4-H young people. The Wyoming 4-H policies outline specifics for the delivery of the Wyoming 4-H program. The policies start out by sharing the mission, vision, and values of our program. The work that we do in 4-H is all about help, helping youth to reach their full potential by working and learning in partnership with caring adults. This mission statement makes your role as a 4-H volunteer very important. Without you, we would not be able to carry out a core piece of our mission statement. When doing this, we use something called the PYD philosophy. By now, you've probably already figured out that PYD stands for Positive Youth Development. If you'll notice at the top of your screen, there's a green handout icon. Whenever you see this icon through the rest of the modules, it means that there's actually a handout you can download with more specific information that you can refer to about this concept. Let's take some time to highlight PYD. A program that has positive youth development recognizes and utilizes youth strengths. It looks to provide an environment for positive learning experiences. It fosters positive relationships with caring adults and other youth. It supports youth's need to build their leadership skills and provides a safe environment for youth to take risks. As you work with youth in the 4-H program, remember the principles of positive youth development. They should be part of your program planning and implementation. In addition to the mission, vision, and values, the policy documents outline the youth experience related to the 4-H program. No matter what program or project a young person enrolls in or how they choose to participate in 4-H, as a volunteer, you help us to make sure that youth in the 4-H program are able to set goals, keep records, and reflect on their learning in a project area. You serve as a caring adult who provides the support needed to develop life skills through project work. You can help us in providing and planning opportunities for hands-on learning experiences. The fair or other similar experiences give youth a place to publicly display their learning in one or more project areas. And we hope as a volunteer, you understand that 4-H is a very broad organization. The fact that it is gives youth the opportunity to use skills learned at their club or project at a different level, including the county, regional, state, national, or even international level. Now let's get down to some of the other concepts of positive youth development. The positive youth development approach recognizes that all youth have interests, ability, and strengths that can be by hand enhanced by participation in the 4-H program. Research shows that participation in high quality 4-H programs increase thriving in youth and thriving youth achieve more developmental outcomes such as academic motivation and achievement. The model in front of you is the 4-H thriving model. On the left, you'll see the bullseye where the youth spark is. This is often their interest or the 4-H project that they join the 4-H program for. Surrounding it is the developmental context and this is the 4-H work that you're doing. So providing quality programs based on positive youth development like we just talked about, developing caring relationships, and having youth engage in the program. If we provide a high quality developmental context, Young people will be able to thrive through hopeful purpose, transcendent awareness, pro-social orientation, positive emotionality, intentional self-regulation, and openness to challenge and discovery. As they thrive, they'll be able to produce high developmental outcomes listed in the light orange there, with then long-term out outcomes on the far right in the dark orange. You play a vital role in helping this trajectory or thrive happen. Positive youth development, as we showed before in the middle of the bullseye, starts with a spark. Our projects are how we get them hooked on the 4-H program. Most of our youth are familiar with 4-H projects. They join 4-H because of the interest they have in an area like beef, arts and crafts, or archery. The skills they learn through project work is called project or activity skills. Learning these type of skills get them involved in 4-H. For example, in woodworking, it might be measuring or sawing a straight line, sanding or applying a finish. 
in clothing, cutting a pattern, laying out material, or threading a machine. While project skills are important, what we really want to focus on in the 4-H program is life skills. Project skills are the spark and learning tool for 4-H members. Our ultimate goal is development of lifelong skills, skills that members can use well beyond their years in 4-H. Check out this model created by Iowa State that breaks these skills into four categories, head, heart, hands, and health. These are not the only life skills that exist, but it's a good starting point. As you work to plan 4-H activities, keep in mind that life skill development should be an integral part of your program delivery. Online, you'll find more handouts that include a larger copy of this model and will help you keep in mind life skill development. The 4-H experience is about learning. As a 4-H volunteer, you can enhance learning by using the experiential learning model. In 4-H, we're very good at providing you with the first level of the model, the experience. In fact, we're so good, our motto is learning by doing. However, we often stop there and forget to help members relate their learning experiences to real life situations. As members learn in your projects and activities, think of ways to provide opportunities for them to work through the model by sharing, processing, generalizing, and then applying things to what, what they've learned to different situations. As a volunteer, and even as a staff member, this can be a confusing process. In your online, you'll be able to check out a handout with some targeted questions you can ask members to help move them through the learning model steps. Some of the questions are more complicated and some are simple. Use this guide as a reference to help members expand their learning through 4-H. As a 4-H volunteer, you're responsible for helping to set the stage for members to have a positive 4-H learning experience. Research shows that there are four essential elements that are needed in a youth organization to promote positive youth development. In the 4-H program, we call these the essential elements. The first is belonging. This element happens by providing an inclusive or welcoming environment that includes social interaction between youth of diverse backgrounds. It allows you to contribute to a team effort and it develops positive caring relationships with adults. Independence happens by supporting self-directed decision-making processes that relate to real life experiences or going through the experiential learning model. Fostering leadership and fostering leadership opportunities. Generosity happens through the involvement of civic engagement activities or community service or service learning. Through opportunities to share experiences with younger members, members can also gain generosity. Mastery happens through the development of specific knowledge and skills to help guidance from, with help and guidance from project volunteers like yourself. Through opportunities to learn how to run effective meetings and through understanding of finances gained through access to club fundraisers and how clubs spend money. As you work as a 4-H volunteer, consider these essential elements in your planning and learning experiences. You can find a handout online describing each element and how to incorporate them specifically into 4-H. Wow, we just talked about a lot of concepts. Essential elements, experiential learning, project skills, life skills, the thriving model. That's a lot to think about as you plan 4-H events and activities and projects. But don't worry, we have you covered. Each 4-H project that is offered in Wyoming has a curriculum or learning book that addresses all of this. The curriculum is based on the most recent research, at least the best we can. If you look at the Leathercraft curriculum, it's from the 1970s, but it's still relevant because how you make leather doesn't change a lot over time. In addition, most of the curriculum we have has hands-on experiences, ways to incorporate experiential learning and the questions to move children from the experience to the application. It gives examples for youth to practice generosity and mastery, and it looks specifically at life skill development. Online, you can find a complete list of the projects we offer in Wyoming, along with a specific curriculum and how you can obtain them. Almost all of our county extension offices have a complete set of curriculum. And most of the curriculum, if you like it, can be purchased for $5 or less online. This curriculum list is a great way for us to also serve youth in projects that don't have leaders. Most of the books are great ways for youth to guide themselves through a project if we can't find a caring certified volunteer to help them. This completes the second part of our training. Please remember to take the online quiz or answer some questions to help us see that you've taken this training and join us in a minute for module three.